I was that youth who found myself to be very angry uh, and dismayed by our current democracy uh, and the ways in which we are allowed to participate in it. The truth is we're only allowed to participate in it is if we can afford it. And when I found out that a new class was being born from our inability to participate, not only in our democracy, but in our current economic system, I think I realized that the, I think I learned that the revolution is objective, right? It's the changes in our economy, in our society, and in our political arenas that are creating revolutionaries. It is thinking long game strategy, knowing that capitalism is coming to its end. How do we build a a transformational society that meets the needs of everybody? It is the abolition of old systems that have been built to oppress us. And that's everything from education systems, healthcare systems, carceral systems, housing systems, that is even our voting systems. You know, our rights being stripped away is because they too, the ruling class, they too know that there is a change in our economic and social structures, that now they are going to, they're trying to keep us out of the political arena that will allow for us to demand the very real changes, the things that will allow for us to put ourselves in there to represent ourselves. That is part of the revolution. Our recognition that these systems are the very things meant to oppress us is part of the revolution. It is what is going to allow for us to have creative minds and be so imaginative on what the new looks like. Like abolition is not the destruction of these things. We don't get to be able to destroy these things until we have begun to set the foundations of the new the building of the new. But the more we get involved and the more we introduce new ideas and the more that we come together as a community, the stronger we are going to be. And that is how we get together and decide what these new systems and new alternatives to what has been built for us and thrust upon us looks like.